The International Olympic Committee has the honor of announcing that the Games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded to the city of London. Our Olympic ambitions are very clear and very simple. In Singapore, when we were pitching to stage the Olympic and Paralympic Games, we basically talked about leaving a lasting legacy. And post-games, leaving an extraordinarily regenerated landscape in East London uh, that the orbit will play centre stage in. I wanted something that would serve as a visitor attraction, both in games time and in, in legacy. I happen to be in the World Economic Forum in Davos getting my coat or something like that and I met Lakshmi Mittal. So I was standing in the cloakroom and he patted my back and he says, hello Lakshmi. We had a very friendly conversation lasting approximately a minute. And he said that we should build something uh, which is iconic and whether Arsene Mittal could supply steel. It sounded to me a great idea and I immediately said to him, yes, why not? Well, the GLA took uh, the lead in developing a, a competition and we put together an artist advisory panel composed of uh, people like Nick Sirota at the Tate and Julia Payton-Jones from the Serpentine. A group of people came together and suggested names of artists, architects, designers, engineers who might conceivably be interested in taking this on. It was an international field. We had a whole range of fantastic contributions from, from great artists and great architects. You know, clearly we wanted an iconic um, artistic object, but as well we wanted something that people could physically interact with. Eventually, of course, we came to three, all of whom offered a tower in one form or another. But um, the combination of Anish Kapoor and Cecil Balmond won the day. Clearly this uh this has been chosen based on its uh, uh, beauty, scale, and its innovation. It's a wonderful collaboration between Anish Kapoor and Cecil Balmond. I got involved with the project um, for the Olympics when Anish gave me a call. We have been working together for quite a few years, and he said, was I interested in this one? And of course, the answer was yes. We're really interested in uh, in geometry and the way that form and geometry give rise to structure. We've worked on different sorts of tower structures before, but we felt we could take this one a little further. A tower just grows like that, it just goes up and up. And we thought of something that could do that, that would have the same sort of um, space stick as a tower but be stranded and have all these voids in it. What we've tried to do is to is to rethink the tower as something which doesn't mutually support, where, where the whole of the structure is in a twist, always off kelter, never never quite vertical. It will serve as a landmark, a beacon, a big vertical invitation to everybody to come from around London and around the UK, around the world to see what we've done in Stratford. We want to express our pride in the city and our belief that we should also be showing off a masterpiece of London art by a world master of the art of sculpture, and that's what we're doing. I'm confident that this will turn out to be the most important uh, sculpture in Olympic Games, and it will always remain legacy for London. I mean, the only comparison, the best comparison, of course, is, is the Eiffel Tower. Can we do the same?